page 78 of your cardiac dysrhythmia interpretation book is uh, the section on ventricular fibrillation, VF or VFib. And um, so in VFib, we see an absolutely chaotic rhythm with uh, no rate, uh, no discernible P waves, and obviously if there are no P waves, there's no PR interval. There's no clear evidence of a QRS or normal QRS complex, and of course, if there's no P waves, then there's no ratio of P waves to QRS, and the rhythm is really not applicable because there's chaos in the underlying baseline. So. Uh, what happens in ventricular fibrillation is that there are multiple ectopic foci in the ventricle, and these are firing off in different directions. And um, when two waves of depolarization run into one another, one another, they cancel each other out. And so consequently, the ventricles become a quivering mass of myocardium. And when that occurs, there is no cardiac output. So unlike atrial fib, where you know we can clearly survive with atrial fib when the atria quivering mass of quivering mass of myocardium, when the ventricles quiver, there is no cardiac output and the patient becomes vital signs absent. So there's no pulse, they're unresponsive, and um, uh, if they don't have agonal respirations, they'll be um, in respiratory arrest as well, or they'll be apneic. And the objective with ventricular fibrillation or with um, pulseless ventricular tachycardia, as I mentioned in the previous slide presentation, is to defibrillate. And defibrillation involves placing pads, and I'm just going to draw them small and small here, pads on the chest, and I won't uh, talk about specifically where those pads go right now. Um, but defibrillation utilizes direct current, so DC current, unlike the current that comes out of our uh, electrical outlets in North America, which is alternating current, and it sends a wave of current across the myocardium, um, you know, whether it's uh, monophasic or biphasic, and what that does is it uh, effectively depolarizes the entire myocardium and overrides all these ectopic foci and the hope is actually that um, what will happen is the, the heart will hopefully go asystolic and the heart will repolarize uniformly and the hope is that the heart's intrinsic pacemaker, the SA node, will begin to fire spontaneously again. So defibrillation doesn't actually restart the heart per se. What it essentially does is it terminates all of these ectopic foci in the ventricle, gets rid of all of those by just sending a wave of electrical current across the myocardium, uh, again in the hopes of rendering a systole uh, and the hope that the heart's SA node will begin to fire spontaneously and uh, the patient will have a return to spontaneous circulation.